Doink. Zack. Oh. Perfekt. Oh. Ich, ich glaube, wir haben es kaputt gemacht. Oh, oh. Was denn? Rückwärtsgang. Ah! Hilfe! Hallo? Ist da jemand? Hallo? Hallo? Oh! Oh! Never believed this could. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Hey, hey, you know? Yeah? Shit the fuck. You guys saw it? The hell it looked like? It was a big, bright, sort of squid like, smooth, metallic. Holy fucking shit. And stuff was just, just rising off the ground, floating. Are you seeing it? No, we lost power. A bunch of us left Conrad. I was driving and... Uh, damn, yeah, damn, uh, Colonel Richter's dead. What? His helmet crashed. <laughs> Jesus. You know who's in charge, Dill? Uh, here? Uh, the Don. He's bringing arrivals up to speed. Oh, fuck me. You guys, you gotta go. Get the G2. Und damit herzlich willkommen zurück zur Arma 3 Contact Kampagne. Und zwar sind wir jetzt hier im Camp Kresnik. Wie wir sehen können, sind die Lichter aus, denn wir hatten ja im letzten Video, wer es noch nicht gesehen hat, definitiv anschauen, Kontakt mit Aliens. Und zwar hatten wir ja unter anderem ein EMP und dann direkten Kontakt, Sichtkontakt mit den Viechern. Sie haben es anscheinend nicht gesehen, denn es war stockduster danach und es ist sogar zu ein paar Unfällen gekommen. Ihr wolltet ja auch mal, dass ich mich ein bisschen drumherum umschaue und hier ist irgendwas. Gehen wir mal zu denen. Yeah, Bake. It's not the batteries. The insides. They're frazzled. How? Half this stuff was unplugged. Doesn't matter. It's got nothing to do with the grid. Then, how come all our radios work? They're hardened. HEMP mill standard. Right. So are our rugged laptops and portable light systems, though. Ruggedized. That's different. Look, let me try and focus here, will ya? There's aliens, man. How can anyone stay focused? <lacht> cool, ja, da haben sie den Unterschied zwischen isoliert und verstärkt quasi ähm, aufgedeckt, äh, sodass unsere... Funkgeräte noch funktionieren, weil sie isoliert sind, aber die Laptops alle nicht mehr. Ähm, alles verschmort, EMP halt, ne? Elektromagnetische Strahlung ist da halt ein bisschen, ja, hm, ne? Unschöner. So, hier ist anscheinend ein bisschen was an Aufgebot. Alle, die jetzt quasi noch hier sind, scheinbar. Schauen wir mal. Alright, listen up. I got good news, bad news, and the biggest news of human history. If any of you doubt that, just take a look at Corporal Stipe. That is not the face of someone who hasn't just stepped off the magical fucking mystery tour. No. This gentleman is a first contact scenario. With what, sir? Intelligent life, Private. And I don't mean the sort you find every time you cross the state line. About one hour ago, an alien flying object <laughs> oh entered Livonian airspace and came to a standstill above the old factory. There was some advance warning, but due to logistics chaos, nothing reached us in time, and what did, we didn't understand. Contrary to whatever you might have heard, there's no playbook for this sort of situation. And to make matters worse, there's been a, uh, what do you call it? A transitory high-power microwave pulse. A transitory high-power microwave pulse. HPM, not EMP. For us, that's the same difference. Electronics are foobar. If it wasn't in a shipping container or a Faraday, you can bet your ass it's cooked. That goes for nods, gun lights, non-tritium optics, and most of our vehicles. Old with diesel, yes. Gasoline, no. Also, pacemakers. Hence the reason I'm talking to you now and not the colonel. Our only casualty so far, but a problematic one. He overturned on the road, blocking access to Point Hopi. The Sparkies there have functioning equipment, which is slowly coming in, but it might be some time before we can un- Fuck this mess. Sir, are aliens responsible for the HPM? Is this an invasion? That's unknown, Sergeant. Our trunk network's down. There is no way we can reach UCOM. To the world, we've just gone dark. 
Yet it appears it's not worldwide, not even nationwide. A forest ranger drove in from Stokovsko. His off-road's fine, and he was less than an hour away. Now, I appreciate you all want some answers. Doctor, if you would. Good evening, lads. I'm Dr. Ian Kesson, a theoretical physicist and professor at Maxwell University, Edinburgh. With me is Dr. Shimon Chapek, whose bloody t-shirt says it all. So anyway, let me cut to the chase. Eight days ago, I was approached in a bizarre manner by the international space agency, Astra. They asked me to travel to Livonia. TS clearance, a short stay in Bosch and out. No question. I figured they wanted me to investigate your training disaster. I wasn't wrong. But they also wanted my scientific assessment of an object spotted in a sinkhole that collapsed after the accident occurred. It was the root cap of a much larger subterranean structure. The tip of something that has been growing for millions of years. And though it's older than mankind, Earth is not its home. I can only imagine our interplanetary guests have arrived because of that discovery. And let me add, the Livonians didn't want this going public. The toxic vapors story was just a cover. A necessary lie to ensure biosecurity. Obviously that's no longer going to stick. Our research center at the factory, it's been abandoned. Everybody scattered once we realized what was coming. Needless to say, we'd only a wee bit of time to prepare. None of us really expected such a... attention. Put simply, we're on the back foot. Recon's our next objective. Lieutenant Kingsley and a small team are moving towards the factory as I speak. They have a mini UGV with them, courtesy of Dr. Chopek. Luckily, it was stored underground, in a testing range, which means it should still be operational. Specialist Rudwell. Sir. Try and connect using the laptop on that desk there. Alles klar. Gut, ich muss mich mit dem Mini UGV verbinden und wir haben ein HPM, kein EMP, okay? Oder HMP? Ich bin hey, mir yeah. gar nicht sicher. Doctor, I'm ah, not jawohl. familiar with the software. Uh, it's the Evo app. Die Evo, huh. alles no klar. Shit. Hold your thumbs. Ah, mal gucken, ob's klappt. Our moment of truth. Excellent. We have telemetry. ED1E. So, do we call him Eddie? Fuck the Eddie! No, one. Hear that, Ian? I fuck off. <laughs> Let's hope we can get the video feed. Hello. I got visual. Get him up on the screen. Great. That's great. Audio? Ah. on. You won't have any movement yet. Systems check. Mind if we test your binding first? You're the doc, doc. Can you pan the camera? All the way to the left. Yeah. Mehr geht nicht. And same to the right. Now back to our friend in the mask. That's good. Can you give us a nod? Fantastic. Okay, next manipulator arm. Can you raise it for me? Now take it down again. Excellent. Extend it forward. That's it. And move it back. Interessantes Spielzeug, hä? Was meint ihr? There you go. Servers all seem fine. Perfect. And how do I unlock these tracks? Ah, thanks. Ah. Just not too fast. Eh? Uh, do you want to play with the laser? Yeah. Oh, the name of the wee man. It's not something you play with. No, I know. Wow, oh, cool. Relax. He's got to do a uh, dry run though, hasn't he? Uh, Eddie's got the duplex sensing instrument. Gets us the composition of different rocks and stuff. Go ahead and try pulsing something. Haha, <laughs> uh, <it laughs> consists of a laser-induced breakdown spectrometer and a remote microimager, which is why we call it LIPS RMI. Let me explain it again in English. Huh? Oh, it um excites tiny spots <laughs> into ionized gas, which we can then examine with a telescope, giving us an elemental readout. Hmm. Odd. Not not certain what you sampled there. Still, Lustig. it appears you got the idea. Okay. Hm. Interessante Sache, ehrlich gesagt. Oh, Platz da, Kollege. Muss doch mal durch. Ah, sehr schön. Also, wir haben das Ganze erfolgreich gemacht, wie es scheint. Anyway, Den Laser getestet. Okay. Okay. 
Yes, sir. Sapphire okay, action. darling. This is Alchemist. The mini UGV's online and coming to you. Stand by. Over. Roger. Standing by. You nervous, Lieutenant? Shitting nickels, Major. And, uh, hot as hell in this moon suit. Over. Remember, you volunteered, Kingsley. Get your game face on. Out. Woo! Vorsichtig. <lacht> Geil. Der Offroader hier. Gar kein Problem. Sehr schön. So, mal schauen. Ah, da sind wir auf der Straße. Sehr schön. Ja, da. Hallo. Los geht's. Jawohl, ich bin hier der beschützende Roboter. Oder beschützte, je nachdem. Have your men stay on that road. We want them visible. Better to be candid about it. And I guess I can't convince you to have your team approach unarmed. Not on your life. Aye, fair <laughs> enough. Then we want them calm. And um, as the astrobiologist here, I really can't stress the threat of microbes enough. Even in that CBRN gear, there's still a big risk of cross-contamination. Probably best if they don't touch anything. Sapphire, further to my last. Do not deviate from the road. Remain in sight. Slow your roll and keep those safeties on. What the? What's for this? Fire discipline and don't for fuck's sake touch anything. That's why you got the robot. Over. Uh, Copy that. No nicht. touchy feely. More to follow. Wait out. Getting a bit of interference here. Could be off the FO. I don't know. It's sporadic. Seems to be hitting us in waves. Huh? Yeah. Let's get not these forübergehen the. HPM sein oder HMP sein, ich weiß ja nicht. Okay, sehr komisch. Ha. Wer diese Dinger da? Alchemist Sapphire. I'm not sure if you're seeing this. There's a log pile ahead. Yeah. And well, what? I don't know how else to say this, but say one of the Mehr oder das Schweden. Ja. You're breaking up words twice over. There's a log and it is defying gravity. Over. How about Eddie gets a closer look? He can get the laser on it, collect some data. Agreed. Minimum exposure. Yeah, Lieutenant, what? hold your position. The mini UGV will assess. Over. We'll go. We'll sit tight. Out. Tatsache. Hier schweben einfach mal Baumstämme und Steine in der Luft. Und noch weiteres. Mann, Mann, Mann. Moment. Oh ja, da hinten. Was ist das? She's incredible. Alter. Back this up off the VTX. And those means of propulsion. What? I, I don't see anything obvious. My point exactly. It's remarkable. Yeah. Okay. Weird shit analyzed. Nice job. Hmm. Well, composition's normal. It's insane that it's so localized. It's too specific. Too damn random. A rock over here, a log over there. Maybe it's some kind of quantum scale residue, warping space-time. All oh, right, just toss the fucking Q word in, and everything makes fucking sense. Major Homewood, sir, you want me to continue? Keep to the road. There's an LDF checkpoint a little farther up. Let's push for that. Okay. Richtig komisch. Da hinten ist das äh, Raumschiff, was jetzt steht und nicht mehr liegt. It's like gravity's not even affecting them. How many rules of physics are being broken here, Dr. Kesson? I've no idea. Maybe all of them. Newton's huh? laws of motion? They're definitely out of the window. They got to be pretty smart, right? Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. You quoted that. Uh -huh. Newton overthrew Aristotle, Einstein overthrew Newton, and now? Well, let's avoid jumping to conclusions. Oh, oh. Huh? This shot has to be Krass.
Wenn das jetzt da oben so steht, kann man mal machen, ne? Schön geparkt. Okay, hier haben wir ein paar Fahrzeuge. Ne, ein Fahrzeug, da hockt auch noch jemand. Ne, da hockt keiner mehr drin. Hey, ich sehe They might think we've evolved into a post-biological <laughs> state. You know. As it may, we're not taking any risks. Rudwell, carry on. Yeah. Head towards it. What is this? So it's like a mini sun. Perhaps not, but it's hot. Looks more like ordinary matter, only superheated. It's been shaped as well, molded. Specialist Rudwell. Eddie's got a telescopic biosampler mounted on his upper arm. It's invasive, but we'd learn a lot from a physical specimen. Physische Probe? Okay, krass. Wieso? So oder wie? Ne, das pulsieren noch nach wie vor. Ah, hier. Lustig. You'll have to maneuver the manipulator arm quite close. The lens has a very limited range. Doink. Äh, zack. Yep. Oh. Perfect. Oh, ich, ich glaube, wir haben es kaputt gemacht. Oh, oh. Was denn? Rückwärtsgang. Ah! Hilfe! Hallo? Ist da jemand? Hallo? Hallo? Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, fuck! Keep going! Okay. Hallo? Ist da jemand? Ist da jemand zu Hause? Hoch! Oh. Hey, hey, Vorsicht! Aua! Hallo? Ey! Miau! Oh! God damn it! EMI is getting stronger. Ja, ich merk's! Uh! Ich kann es auch nicht mehr so gut bedienen! Und weg ist es. Was war das? Oh no. Come on. Connections out. Can you get it back? No. Unlikely, sir. The feed tanked. And without GPS, the retro traverse isn't gonna work. Eddie's stuck there. And it's not possible it's an issue on our side? Could be. Can vouch for the integrity of this equipment, especially after those high powered microwaves. A uh, faulty terminal, maybe? Sapphire, it's Alchemist. Radio check. Copy, you're Lima Charlie, over. Loud and clear. Okay, wait one for tasking. Rudwell, troubleshoot. Run over to Point Hopi and bring us back another terminal. On my own, sir? Yeah, on your fucking own. I'm not gonna hold your hand. <laughs> Follow the chemlight trail. The fog out uh, there is getting worse. Alles klar, die sind ja freundlich. Okay, machen wir mal, ne? Und ich hätte gesagt, damit können wir jetzt schon alleine auf, äh, ja, Suche gehen nach einem neuen Terminal. So weit, so gut, ne? Also macht's dann gut. Tschüss, Jack. War schön, dich kennengelernt zu haben. Tschüss, machen es gut. Und ich gehe da mal äh, den komischen Sachen auf den Grund gehen. Und ihr, hätte ich gesagt, schreibt mir mal schön in die Kommentare, wie ihr das Ganze findet und was ihr denkt, jetzt wie es weitergehen wird. Ich bin ja mal echt gespannt. Und wenn die Außerirdischen wirklich wegen dem komischen Ding in der Erde gekommen sind, dann ist die Frage, wie ist das komische Ding auf die Erde gekommen? Gut, aber so hätte ich gesagt, schauen wir mal. Ja, wir werden jetzt der Straße folgen und schauen im nächsten Video, wie es weitergeht. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Macht's gut und ciao.